the Bahamas Telecommunications Company to pay up after it was fined by Urco for breaching the Communications Act. Well, the phone company has to pay nearly a quarter of a million dollars for preventing fair market access to its competitors. BTC CEO Leon Williams told Janine Noel Ferguson today what this means for the company and ongoing plans to improve the quality of service. So we have written some checks in the neighborhood of almost a million dollars um, to Urco. And that's for those hefty fines handed down by regulators for BTC's uncompetitive behavior. Systems Resorts Group Limited, a subsidiary of Cable Bahamas, had filed a complaint against BTC, claiming that it could not sell its indigo calling cards to some wholesalers because of their exclusivity agreement with BTC. Williams said BTC was also fined an $850,000 fee to Urca's appeal tribunal. The company, he says, has learned its lesson. It means that we have to work smarter and that we must recognize that um, there is an authority above and beyond that of the company. And when I say that there is a regulatory um, authority in the country that the laws have teeth in them and that the, when they give you advice and they suggest to you to modify your behavior, then you should modify your behavior. Meanwhile, Williams said BTC hopes to improve customer satisfaction, noting that some 20 new network towers need to be built. The most difficult uh, task right now is site acquisitions, getting a place that you can either buy the land, lease the land, to put up towers. Few people, most people want good uh, cellular services, but most people don't want a tower in their backyard. So that's a major challenge. Unlike the United States, we see little towers because they are high-rise buildings. The antennas are usually placed on the buildings. But there are not enough buildings of that height in New Providence or in Freeport to give us the coverage. So as a result of that, we end up having to build towers. And Williams acknowledged that the clock is ticking before competition enters the market. BTC is strongly depending on customer loyalty. Any new competitor is going to have their own issues themselves. And so... There will always be problems with technical networks. It's, it's, a, it's a major challenge. Um, in the case of BTC, I refer to the employees that this is flight BTC 242. And that's the flight number, 242 BTC. We've got an aircraft that is having some engine problems. Somebody has to go out on the wing and fix the engine. It's surgery, and we're performing that surgery while we're in flight. Now, Williams says repairs to the network are ongoing and consumers can expect some improvements by the end of October. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.